Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Rise and grind, Facebook family, rise and grind. Good morning, everyone. Big Papa here. Welcome to another episode of Morning Motivation with Big Papa. This is just my morning, my morning ramblings as I head to the gym. Going to a new gym this morning. My buddy thinks that uh, he found the gym he might like better than the one we've been going to. So heading over there. And uh, today's leg day. Leg day, baby. Looking forward to that. So, was thinking this morning. I'm really loving this concept about the parenting matrix. It makes total sense in my brain. And I love it when things make total sense in my brain. So today is uh, what has been previously known as, hey, Heidi, good morning. You must, you must have been busy. So what's been previously known as Parenting Rescue, I'm now going to, to uh, retitle the Parenting Matrix. Because I think, I, you know, we look at this, this, the super nanny shows, and I plan on, you know, getting to some other people as well. I want to I wanna pull up some Dr. Phil episodes. Um, and, you know, any, anything else. Hey, good morning, Lorraine from the UK. Good morning, Lisa. And anything else that we can, uh, you know, that you guys recommend. Because I feel like what it does, but talking about the parenting matrix, putting it in that framework, what it does is it gives us contrast. So that's what I'm establishing is contrast. And what contrast does is it shows you, it shows you and gives you insights into what you don't want. And, and a lot of times we don't know what we don't want. We don't we don't know we don't know how to do things different. I, I can't tell you how many times, you know, and I've even done this myself, thought if only I knew what different thing to do. If if only I um knew how to do something different or you've heard someone say hey good morning Suzanne you've heard someone say tell me what just tell me what to do and the reason we say that is because we are experiencing contrast and in contrast you get confused because you're used to doing things a certain way and then this contrast shows up and it's like oh I don't I don't want this. I don't I don't like this. And so it's actually contrast in our lives that gives us catalyst to do something different or to start thinking differently, which then gives us opportunities to start, you know, behaving differently. And so contrast is important because you don't know what you don't know until you experience it. And when our children show up with behavior problems, that's contrast, right? We could be, we could be really enjoying a a trip to the mall and then we've had a really good time. We get home and then our kids start having these issues. Well, it's the issues that are, that are the contrast that we don't like and contrast gives us, this is really important. Contrast gives us an opportunity to see, do, feel, and behave. Well, doing is behaving, but to see and do, feel differently. It's like it's like a, an invitation. When contrast shows up, it's offering you an opportunity to do something different. And so that's really what I am trying to achieve with the parenting matrix is showing people that 
they're in the matrix. You are in this way, this illusion of how things have to be done or are supposed to be done. And then you start experiencing all of this contrast that tells you, that doesn't feel good. But you keep doing the same thing because that's what the matrix tells you to do. It's a, it's a very interesting thing. And so I want to give contrast. And the contrast that I want to provide says there is a different way for you to approach this. There's a different way for you to see this. There's a different way for you to, to be able... You can respond instead of react. Let's just... Let's, you know, I'm working on a new book with... Uh, a friend of mine, she's a psychologist. Her name is Trisha Bridgewater, and Trisha's a uh, she's a trauma informed psychologist. And it's been really cool working on this new book with her. I'm planning on writing two books this year. The Trauma Informed Handbook is the first one that's going to come out, and then Fearless Fear Dash Less Parenting is the second one. And. I was doing some work on the book this morning and Trisha had been talking about fight flight or she was she was using the analogy of a child being in fight or flight and I'm fixing to go off on a whole different I don't know why I'm even talking about this um, and saying that the, the boy is in fight or flight because of this this situation with the father but it's not that the boy is just in fight or flight because it's actually it's fight flight or freeze See, we, our brains have, have three reactions to stress. It's fight, flight, or freeze, and freeze is actually our initial reaction. So that's, that's the basis of, of oppositional defiance is freeze. And so instead of looking at it as just fight or flight, because I don't think it's accurate, and that goes back to my kind of OCD, my newly acquired over probably the last seven year seven years my newly acquired be OCD behavior around words um, the words we use define our reality so if I just if I'm just saying this kid is in fight or flight then I'm limiting <coughs> I'm limiting my understanding of him and to really to even say fight flight or freeze is limiting my understanding of him so I like to say amygdala activation because amygdala activation means he's stressed and whatever he does is what he does. And that, so let me tie this back around to contrast. So if you look at amygdala activation, if you look at, if you look at a, a child in a, in a behavioral state, you know, as, as being in his amygdala, which means he's stressed, that means he could be doing any number of things. We always freeze first. It's it's nice for you to understand that and to, to be able to get that concept that we freeze first. But just to think about the child being in amygdala activation tells you he's stressed. And if he's stressed, he's going to either be operating within his window of tolerance or he's going to be operating outside of his window of tolerance. But pretty soon, his behavior is going to start to show up and it's start to, going to start to be contrast for what you what you want to see and and every time a child gives you contrast the real challenge it's not even a challenge the opportunity the opportunity is for you to choose a different response so if the response you've been using hasn't been working choose a different one so I'm actually looking for this Jim because he said it was on pin and 59th and I am now at pin and 59th, and I'm not really seeing it. So I'm going to make a right, because that's what my gut is telling me to do. And I'm going to go down here a ways and see if it's down here. So every time your child is in amygdala activation, so needless to say we're kind of reworking a few things, or I'm presenting them to Trisha as something to consider. Um, your child is giving you an invitation. Uh, that's how I want you to start looking at it. When your child is giving you contrast, I want you to look at it as an invitation to, to do something different. That's all contrast is. Contrast is an invitation to do something different. Angela says, could you do a Matrix episode targeted at our teens to understand the parent's struggle to understand? 
my son would so get it from that angle. Yes, that's an excellent idea. That's an excellent idea, Angela. Um, I might even try to do that this evening. I think that's very cool. Um, so thank you for that. I also have to look up TBRI, uh, TRBI, or I'll have to check on that as well. Um, because I said I'd talk about that too. So anyway, I am unsure. Of, I did leave early. See, this is very important. I left early so I could um, give myself plenty of time to find this new location so I don't have to be stressed. See, that's just, you know, thinking, thinking forward and saving myself some stress um, as I'm looking for this new gym. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got to say for this morning. So I hope you found some motivation in that. Um, I'm going to sign off so I can pay attention to where I'm trying to go so I can go get this workout in. Have an awesome day. Be amazing today. Big Papa loves you and we'll see you soon.